I'm an astronomer here at the Spitzer Science Center at Caltech and the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore. We study things from the moon to things in the solar system to things all the way back in the beginning of time. One of the key focuses of my research has been the population of dwarf galaxies in the universe. Dwarf galaxies are galaxies that, as the name implies, are small. Small compared to things like the Milky Way. These small galaxies end up colliding with each other and forming the big masses that we see with the beautiful spiral arms. I want to understand how all this came to be, so I want to get to the root of it, and I think that the root is in studying dwarf galaxies. My approach has been to look in our local neighborhood of the Milky Way. I just want to study the space around the Milky Way and see what populations live there. Astronomers need this humongous toolkit to be able to sample galaxies in all their different guises. Those guises are different wavelengths of light that they emit. And I use the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope to help complete that picture. One telescope gives me information on the infrared light, while the other gives me information on the light that we can see with our eyes. I also use facilities on the ground, both in Chile, the Magellan Telescopes, and in Arizona. The images are transmitted down to NASA's Deep Space Network and go to JPL, where then they are funneled over to centers who then process the images and then deliver them to astronomers. A typical day is not going to the telescope and looking at the night sky. We also have to do things to help the broader community of scientists. And so in my work, half my time is spent supporting the Hubble Space Telescope. I help people make the observations they need to answer their own questions. And then the other half of the time, I spend answering the questions that I, I want to ask. What does it take to be an astronomer? You definitely have to have an aptitude for math and science. But hard work, perseverance, and devotion count so much more than bare aptitude. It seems sort of strange that growing up in New York, you could become that attached to the night sky, but growing up poor is also difficult. And somehow, astronomy was a way out of all these things because it allowed me to dream about things that had nothing to do with my current circumstance. My passion for astronomy wasn't driven by stargazing, it was more driven by the need to understand why. Where did we come from? The universe is so much larger than we are. Time scales are so much larger than even human existence. And for me, that's comforting that maybe all of our problems don't really matter so much in the big scheme of things.